The Matthew effect is the situation where those who receive opportunity tend to acquire additional opportunities. Those who receive initial disadvantages tend to accumulate further disadvantage. When it comes to wealthy people, because of their affluence, many more doors open and many more money-making prospects come to their attention. Moreover, these various opportunities tend to be on preferential terms. This is purely a structural facet of society. It's clear that those individuals leveraging the Matthew effect are often systematically using their financial achievements to create scenarios incorporating new and expanded relationships that are potentially quite lucrative. We can understand the Matthew effect as a winner-takes-all situation, where the rich get richer and the easiest way to get more popular is to be popular in the first place, leaving the rest behind. How it would work in a market could be described like this. Every sale of a copy of a book increases the probability of selling other copies independently of other variables in the market. We can also see some similarities to the concept of network effects. I will leave you the link here to learn more. But a perfect example is the massive growth of large tech companies in a short period. Many tech products grow more useful as more users engage them. So the larger the user base gets, the more benefit each user is able to derive. This effect describes an economy in which the best performers are able to capture a very large share of the available rewards, while the remaining competitors are left with very little. If a new company wanted to compete against Facebook, they will simply have difficulty establishing a network of users to compete. If you like my content, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Created using Powtoon.